Have you ever wondered why we give chocolate on Valentine's Day? Where did it come from? So join us to see who's behind of this Valentine's tradition, and we're here to give you. Why do we buy chocolates on Valentine's Day? In a small, artisanal chocolate shop nestled in the heart of Brussels, Belgium, there's a picture of Richard Cadbury hanging on the wall. It's a symbol, a nod to a historical moment that forever changed the way we express affection. Our story starts in the early 19th century, during England's Industrial Revolution. Chocolate, at that time, was primarily consumed as a drink, a privilege of the wealthy. The Cadbury family, already established in the cocoa business, was experimenting with ways to improve and diversify their chocolate products. Enter Richard Cadbury, a man with a keen eye for business and a romantic heart. Richard was born in 1835 into the Cadbury family. His father, John Cadbury, founded the Cadbury Company in 1824, initially selling tea, coffee, and drinking chocolate. Richard joined the family business, which at the time was primarily focused on producing drinking chocolate. In the 1840s, Richard made a pivotal discovery. He found a way to extract pure cocoa butter from the beans, leaving behind a residue that could be molded into what we know today as eating chocolate. This was a richer, more palatable product than the coarse, bitter chocolates of the past. But the true stroke of genius came when Richard linked this new product to Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, with its roots in ancient Roman and Christian traditions, was gaining popularity in Victorian England. It was a day when lovers expressed their feelings through handwritten notes known as Valentines. Richard saw an opportunity in this romantic tradition. In 1861, he launched the first box of chocolates, specifically for Valentine's Day, packaged in a heart-shaped box adorned with roses and cupids. The box itself was a work of art, intended to be kept as a keepsake, a treasure box for letters and mementos. This innovation coincided with a societal shift. The Victorians were enamored with courtship and romance, often expressed through elaborate rituals and gifts. Chocolate, with its sensual appeal and luxurious nature, fit perfectly into this narrative. Richard Cadbury's innovations and marketing strategies had a lasting impact on the chocolate industry and the way we perceive chocolate as a gift. The Cadbury brand, now part of Mondelez International, continues to be a major player in the global chocolate market. Across the Atlantic, the chocolate landscape was also evolving. Milton Hershey, an American entrepreneur, was establishing his chocolate empire. Hershey grew up in a rural Mennonite community. His family moved frequently, and his formal education was limited. He apprenticed with a printer, and later with a candy maker in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. These experiences laid the foundation for his future endeavors in confectionery. Hershey's first business ventures, including a candy shop in Philadelphia, were unsuccessful and left him in debt. Hershey found success with the Lancaster Caramel Company using a recipe he acquired during his apprenticeship. This venture brought him significant profits. Intrigued by the potential of chocolate, which was then a luxury item, Hershey sold his caramel company to focus on chocolate making. In 1900, he founded the Hershey Chocolate Company. In 1907, Hershey introduced a new product that would become an iconic symbol of affection, the Hershey's Kiss. These bite-sized chocolates, wrapped in silver foil, were affordable and widely accessible, democratizing the act of giving chocolate. As the 20th century progressed, the tradition of gifting chocolate on Valentine's Day was cemented in popular culture. Advertising campaigns by major chocolate manufacturers romanticized the notion. 
chocolate was no longer just a treat. It was a medium of expression, a way to say, I love you, without words. But the appeal of chocolate goes beyond marketing. Scientifically, chocolate contains compounds such as phenylethylamine and theobramine, which have mood-lifting properties. The sensory experience of chocolate, its melt-in-the-mouth texture and rich flavor, mirrors the warmth and pleasure of romantic love. Today, in that little shop in Brussels, as the chocolatier crafts each piece by hand, there's a sense of participating in a tradition that spans centuries and continents. From Richard Cadbury's Victorian England to Milton Hershey's America, chocolate has journeyed through history, evolving from a luxury commodity to a universal symbol of love and affection. This story of chocolate and Valentine's Day is a tapestry woven from historical facts, societal changes, and the timeless human need to express love. It's a testament to how a simple confectionery can capture our hearts and become an enduring symbol of romance. If you haven't already, please consider to subscribe and give us a like if you found this content informative. And remember, you can always leave your comments and suggestions down below. If you want more content like this, or if you have any specific topic you'd like us to cover in the future, please let us know. Your input shapes the direction of this channel. You may also want to check our video, 2024 Luckiest Plants, based on Feng Sui. And 10 Things to Avoid, according to Feng Sui, during Chinese New Year. Thank you for watching.